Hi, I'm Gary Milne. I'm a PGA coach based at the Woodbury Park Hotel and Golf Club. I'm here today to talk about better distance control, particularly with your wedges. Fundamentally, we need a good setup, good grip particularly, good posture, and just generally set up to play the shot correctly. However, the big tip is to make sure that we put the correct loft on the club during the backswing. Okay, so once I've got myself organized to the golf ball, what I need to do is put what we call loft on the club. I need to get the leading edge set at the vertical position at this point. I see most golfers, generally because of a poor grip, changing the dynamics of the loft. So the club face itself has changed from what it was originally behind the golf ball. I'm using a 52 degree SM6 Vokey here. And all I want to be able to do is to put 52 degrees of loft on it in this position in the backswing. As I said, most golfers tend to change the dynamics. So by closing the club face, my 52 degree wedge can perhaps become a 40 degree wedge. The problem with that is that I'm gonna lose direction. I'm probably gonna hit it lower and probably left. And having done that once or twice, I'm then gonna to start to have to compensate. So the key is set the loft that you're starting with on the club, and then you'd be able to commit to the shot. I certainly can commit more when I've got more loft on that golf club. So getting myself organized, I'm gonna get into my routine where I make a couple of little practice swings. Just to feel the legs of the backswing, just ensuring I've got a nice rhythm and tempo. And now all I'm gonna do is set the club in this position so I've got the same loft on the club that I started with. Here goes. Pretty good. Really, once I've got myself organized and got the loft on there, I'm just focusing on a good routine and a good rhythm and tempo. I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you'd like to learn more, I'd love to hear from you. Please visit the website.